Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I am going to show you three tips on how to become a Revit Pro. So let's take a look into it. My first tip is make use of what Revit gives you. By this I mean for example use shortcuts. There are a lot of shortcuts in Revit to help you save time and energy. I will put a list of all of them in the description box. But of course you don't need to learn all of them. Try to think of a few things that you do regularly. For example, move something or copy something. And then try to learn the shortcut for that action by heart. I made a selection of the shortcuts that I find most useful in this video right here. So check that out if you want. Also, I noticed that a lot of people don't know the shortcut WT, which is to display multiple views at a time. Check that one out as well, um, it's especially helpful to, if you work in the 3D view. Also, try to minimize mouse usage. Don't drag something around with your mouse. That takes a lot of time, it's hard for your hand to do those little movements, you'll get tensions in your shoulder. Instead work with uh, what Revit gives you in the modifying tools. Check out what each of the li these little ones mean and then uh, try to use it. You will be surprised how easy some things can go. Now my second tip would be use parameters and fill them out neatly. Parameters are all the elements that you find in the properties. Some are instance specific and some are type specific. You can create your own like some fire safety parameters or you can create the ones or you can use the ones that are already there like phase or room key and now what i would advise you to do is take time in the beginning of your project and think of what kind of information you will need throughout the project and then create parameters accordingly and try to put all the information you have into a model because that will enable you to filter uh, by using those parameters or um, create lists that will update themselves whenever you make changes. So you can imagine how this will save you a lot of time. And then my last tip would be get help. I know it's hard when you're struggling with something in Revit and it just won't work and you don't know why. <laughs> but don't get frustrated uh, try to see it as a challenge maybe, but don't think, oh, it's just not possible in Revit. Because a lot of things are possible in Revit, uh, you just have to find out how, because it might be hidden somehow. <laughs> so Google your problem. There's most of the time somebody else has struggled, will have struggled with it as well. And there's a lot of great advice out there, a lot of friendly people who have taken the time to um, explain somebody how to do it. Or if your problem is very specific, try to think creative and try to think what is it exactly that I need and how can I maybe represent it in another way that is, that is just as accurate because it will contain all the information that I need. <laughs> this was a bit abstract maybe, but I hope you get what I mean. Um, and those were my three tips, so let me repeat what I told you. First is, um, make use of what Revit gives you by using shortcuts, by using uh, the modifying tools. And then the second tip, is use parameters and have the discipline to fill them out neatly because that will save you a lot of time in the end. And then the third tip is get help um, in the platforms from Autodesk or on Facebook or on LinkedIn. There are a lot of good groups out there. Also some good YouTube channels that you might want to subscribe to. <laughs> Just kidding. But I'm very happy that I reached 300 subscribers and um, so thank you everyone who supports me and I hope I am of help to you and then see you again next Monday with another tutorial. Bye bye!